Here's another lesson from page 1102, Algebra 1, <clears throat> pages 28 through 31. So we just did a lesson about substitution, and uh, in all of those problems that they gave you, all six of them, they already told you one of the equations said y equals something. And you just put parentheses around it and you plugged it in and hopefully you checked it and got all those right. So now we move on to what's called more substitution, and it just adds one more step in front of what we just did. And if we look at these two equations here, we notice that neither one of them are solved for y. Okay, neither one of them. So we need to rearrange, and uh, how do you know which one? Okay, and the answer is there is no right answer. You can choose either one. But as a math teacher for 35 years, I will tell you a little hint. If you look for a y that does not have a coefficient, a number right in front of it, and zero in on that one. Take that equation and solve for y. Okay, it'll be a lot simpler. So we actually, both of these have a situation like that. This one has just y by itself. This one is negative y. We could actually choose either one, all right? Um, this would be the easier one, so let me choose the hard one and just show you what we have to do to be careful, okay? So if I rearrange this, I would end up with negative y equals negative 5x plus 8. See how I move the 5x over? Change sides, change signs. So it changed from positive to negative, but this stayed here. But now I have to change everything to its opposite. So it's like I'm dividing by negative 1. So I actually get y equals 5x minus 8. <clears throat> All right. So now to graph it. Oops, I don't have to graph this. Sorry. What am I thinking? That was the previous one. You know, actually, that's a good point. With any two equations, you could graph them. Find the point where they cross. You can do substitution. And then later, we're going to talk about a method called the addition method. All of them will give you the same answer. This is one of the great things about math, that there are multiple ways of solving the problems and still get the right answer. Okay, you just got to do it the right way, that's all. So now that I know what y is, we're back to the step where we just put parentheses around it. Take the other equation, don't make the mistake of plugging it into the same one, because that, that won't work, all right? Take the other equation and plug it in place of y. So it'd have 3x plus 5x minus 8 equals 0. And now you can just... Combine like terms, move the h to the other side, solve for x. Once you know x, now you can plug in for x right here, 5 times x, solve that, and you'll have the y value. All right? <clears throat> so I think uh, with those tips, hopefully this lesson won't be too hard for you.